Sounds good. So um, my name is Jeff Muzzy. I'm actually a Seattle native. My dad was in the military, so I lived all over the U.S. and parts of the world. But uh, started here, ended up here. Um, if you look at this picture way here, this is me at Microsoft back in 1986. So I'm a grandfather in the tech field here. Um, so if you want to ask questions about some stuff, including DOS, I can probably answer them for you later. <laughs> I'm also a bowler and a two-time Seattle All-Star bowler here. So this is our R&D network. The, it was opened here in Seattle in June. There's the, the last five hubs that have been opened. Um, uh, Seattle here, there's one in Tel Aviv. They're doing security. Beijing is actually doing the Chinese version and the UI there. Berlin is doing the UI for the actual cars. So we are actually doing the software and the systems to actually deploy into cars. I've spent the last eight years or so doing it for Nissan, Ford, Chrysler, um, most of the manufacturers, Renault, um, and Shell over in Europe for uh, fleet sales. So that's how I got um, uh, recruited by Mercedes-Benz when they were in stealth mode. So they've actually been recruiting since about last March. Uh, we're actively recruiting now. I'll get to that later. But it's all over the world. Um, the U.S. R&D place is in... Um, Headquarters is in Sunnyvale, California. Um, Long Beach does uh, the uh, TCUs, which are the actual telematics control unit. Every, if you think of every car today, it is now a cell phone with two SIM cards in it. Easiest way to think about that. Um, Portland actually has the cars. We're cloud computing. They do transmissions. Um, the autonomous cars are done partly in the U.S., partly in Germany. We, we share responsibility across the, the continents. Um, our vision, you can look. I'm not going to read those there because everybody can read those and they'll be part of the PowerPoint. But we're looking to uh, take cars to the next generation. Um, people are talking about autonomous cars. I don't believe they're going to be here as soon as most other people think because you have to take into so many variables into consideration and do quick computations. I don't think we're there yet. Um, inside of cities where it's well defined, they can do very big mappings and we can get tight controls. I think you'll see that much, much sooner. That's really what you're going to see. Um, how it's promoted by everybody else, I'm not so sure. Um, but you know, you get to the Montana, there's nothing there. So how do you get data points? Skip. Okay, so I have actually, except for the software team, I'm in charge of everything else but the software development team. So I have uh, QA, um, DevOps, and security. But that's because my, that's what my background is in the last 30 years, is in that. So we do testing, um, a hybrid, so it's just not pure DevOps if you're doing the new style development because we are under regulatory controls for every country's uh, Department of Transportation, things like that. We have to adhere to all those standards. So we have to do things in a hybrid mode. So it's not all agile, it's not all waterfall, it's, it's gonna be a hybrid. Probably be that way forever because of the governments wanting their input into things. Um, but this is actually a, a slow slide I created to actually just to, to uh, tell people how this actually goes. Um, unit testing, everybody who does uh, uh, is familiar with that. But as you go down, these, down this thing, it gets longer and more complex to actually do those. My team right now is doing load and stress tests for new software that's being developed that will be released sometime uh, or later this year or early next year. Um, and then we'd have to do security and penetration testing as a separate thing because it spans everything as well as business continuity plans. What happens if we lose a data center or lose a thing in a region? How do I keep all that stuff up and running? All right, DevOps. Um, I'm from the old world of, re actually, I ran MSN and designed, I was a system architect for all of MSN, okay? And um, we just run everything, so once the developer finishes it, the DevOps people get it, and we run it for the rest of the life of that product. This is a sample of our networking. Basically, you'll see this is a standard web application development. We just add private networks, and we run hybrid uh, on-premise and in the cloud. Um, this is how we'll actually collect all the data. You'll see this is all open source stuff, but it's so we can be multi-cloud, so we're not tied to one manufacturer. Um, security topics. Um, it's, and it looked like it got messed up here, but basically we have to make sure everything's secure. My team will actually do that when I get some people to actually do it. Uh, <laughs> and where we're at right now, I'm trying to hire, along with the rest of the team, 100 people before uh, end of next year. So in the next 11 months and some days is to hire 100 people. That's a lot of work. <laughs> so, 
and uh, build great software, get great people, work in teams. And I got it done. In. <laughs> there we go. So anybody has any questions? Sure. Um, uh, there is actually a team in there that actually does stuff like that. Since Chaos Monkey is specific to AWS, I actually designed something that for Microsoft, so which I couldn't take with, couldn't take with me, but I actually know how to design something for that for Azure. And so there is actually something that uh, we can actually do along those lines. So yes. Uh, I am a technologist, not a marketing person, but I can kind of paraphrase what they said is, it's very interesting to develop cars and not make a profit on them <laughs> as an experiment. Can you produce two million ca cars and continue doing that? There's a difference between doing 10,000 cars like that and two million cars a year. So, But, um, but in general, we're going to actually, uh, we're researching that. We will have an electric car, I heard sometime. I, I'm not going to announce it, but I know that it's, it's under development and stuff. I've seen it So when I've been over in Germany. Um, they're doing good work. They're, 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 their focus was to build a car to test their battery technology. I guess that's an interesting way of doing it. Um, and I've looked at them. They're nice cars. They look like a race car, but I used to race. So, Anybody else? Questions? Um, well, they are going to be super advanced distributed computers. That's probably the way it, each module can plug into them. It's like a fighter aircraft. Fighter aircraft, when you add something to it, it brings a new brings a new computer in, into the network, and it basically brings on processing capabilities. Um, I see that uh, um, the new cars are actually all working towards over-the-air updates, OTAs, and things like that. So you'll see that you'll be able to upgrade those in the future. Um, Every, every manufacturer, everybody's working on it. There's a couple other startups in Seattle that are working on that as well. Um, eventually, there will be some obsolescence and things like that. Um, but obsolescence in cars is 10 years, 20 years. So it, it, it will be a problem. It, it, things run slow. Your iPhone runs slow. So when you get to five, six years. So there, it will be a problem. A lot of people like old cars. So there's people who still run old clutches and are running 80-year-old cars. So I don't think it'll be a big problem. It's something to, to consider, and we're looking at it. One more question? Where are we at? Data center. We, uh, there's a data center in Mexico, um, a data center in Europe, and also in China. Um, we're actually going to production for this, this cloud hybrid, and we haven't picked the data centers yet, so that's part of my team's job is to actually pick the data centers. But we'll be distributed throughout the world so that we're not uh, uh, you know, uh, beholden to one place. If we lose something in one place, the other region will be able to pick it up for us. So um, probably be in the U.S., somewhere in North America, in China, and in Europe somewhere. So. Sounds good. And I'll be available after.